The name written on her forehead was a mystery. Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. The Bible gives us the exact location of Mystery Babylon. The first biblical fact. Mystery Babylon is in the desert wilderness. The second biblical fact, Mystery Babylon sits on seven mountains. The third biblical fact, Mystery Babylon rules over the kings of the earth. The fourth biblical fact, Mystery Babylon has a wicked temple seen by Zechariah in prophecy. The fifth biblical fact, Mystery Babylon is south of Jerusalem. Sixth Biblical Fact, Mystery Babylon is very wealthy. The Seventh Biblical Fact is that Mystery Babylon believes it is special and will never mourn. The eighth biblical fact, Mystery Babylon gains its wealth from the sea trade. Revelation 17.3 NIV Translation The Woman in the Desert Wilderness Then the angel carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. There I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was covered with blasphemous names and had seven heads and ten horns. Revelation 17.3 Good News Translation The Woman in the Desert Wilderness The Spirit took control of me and the angel carried me to a desert. There I saw a woman sitting on a red beast that had names insulting to God written all over it. The beast had seven heads and ten horns. The Greek word translated as desert wilderness is er -ama, meaning a deserted place, uninhabited region, desert, lonely, deserted, uninhabited, desolate. Revelation 17, verses 9 and 10. Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. And they are seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, the other has not yet come. And when he comes, he must remain a little while. Revelation 17, 18. The woman whom you saw is the great city, which reigns over the kings of the earth. Then the angel who was speaking to me came forward and said to me, Look up and see what is appearing. I asked, What is it? He replied, It is a basket. And he added, 
This is the iniquity of the people throughout the land. Then the cover of lead was raised, and there in the basket sat a woman. He said, This is wickedness, and he pushed her back into the basket and pushed its lead cover down on it. Then I looked up, and there before me were two women with the wind in their wings. They had wings like those of a stork, and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. Where are they taking the basket? I asked the angel who was speaking to me. He replied, To the country of Babylonia, to build a house for it. When the house is ready, the basket will be set there in its place. The NASB translation shows that the woman will be set upon a pedestal. You can see that the black stone in the Kaaba is set on a pedestal. Then he said to me, To build a temple for her in the land of Shinar, and when it is prepared, she will be set there on her own pedestal. Zechariah chapter 6 verses 1 through 3 Again I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, four chariots came out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of bronze. The first chariot had red horses, the second black horses, the third white horses, and the fourth chariot dappled horses, all of them strong. The four chariots that Zechariah sees are connected to the four empires seen by Daniel. The first is Babylon. The second are the Mede Persians. The third are the Seleucid Greeks. And the fourth kingdom is Islam. Zechariah chapter 6 verses 4 and 5. Then I answered, and I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these, my Lord? And the angel answered and said to me, These are going out to the four winds of heaven, after presenting themselves before the Lord of all the earth. Zechariah chapter 6, verse 6. The chariot with the black horses goes towards the north country. The white ones go after them, and the dappled ones go toward the south country. Zechariah is telling us the fourth kingdom, patrolled by the dappled horses, goes towards the south country. Mecca is south of Jerusalem. Rome is not. The geo-coordinates from Jerusalem are that Mecca is 157 degrees to the south southeast. In contrast, Rome is 305 degrees to the west northwest. The south country is Mecca. Revelation 18:16. They will weep and mourn and cry out. Woe, woe to you, great city, dressed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, and glittering with gold, precious stones and pearls. In one hour such great wealth has been brought to ruin. Revelation 18.7 Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself, 
in her heart she boasts, I sit enthroned as a queen, I am not a widow, I will never mourn. Revelation 18, 19 They will throw dust on their heads and with weeping and mourning cry out, Woe, woe to you, great city, where all who had ships on the sea became rich through her wealth. In one hour she has been brought to ruin.